Look, I've had the pleasure of being over at Dickie's place when Santa has, oh. has arrived. I'm down the chimney and, and everything, and he's here now with something very special, Dickie. Uh, thank you, Carl. Three words. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, good morning, one and all. Today we go centre stage with someone who was already a major star on the West End of London before she sprang to global fame thanks to Ted Lasso. Now, she's returning to her roots. It is a great pleasure to catch up with the very fabulous Hannah Waddingham. Merry Christmas, everybody! Welcome to my festive extravaganza. Hannah, it's great to see you. We're big fans of yours here in Australia. I'm a big fan of Australia. I hope you guys know that. I was shooting on The Fall Guy out there from November to February, and I honestly, I, I would be perfectly happy to live there. I love it. Why me? You're a stump man. Nobody's gonna notice you. That's your job. No offense. I mean, some take it. Apart from shutting down the Sydney Harbour Bridge and whatnot, what else did you get up to when you were here? Uh, well, I got a little bit addicted to going places in a in a seaplane, and I just I, I'm I've always loved Australian people. They're always big-hearted, very open, very positive, and and very witty. So uh, yeah, I I can't wait to be back there to promote it. Why would you ever consider taking something away from people that means so much to them? This isn't a game. We've known for some time just how talented you are, but the last few years must have been just crazy for you. So crazy, and actually hitting at a time in my life, people go, oh, God, you know, would you have liked this in your 20s and 30s? 100% not. I love the fact that it's, that it's happened in my 40s. It's not lost on me, the fact that I've been afforded the luxury of this unbelievable platform in Ted Lasso. And to be able to bring my two worlds together of theatre and TV is just incredible. So here we are at the wonderful London Coliseum. Set the scene for us. From the age of eight and for 30 years, I've sat in the Coliseum, the home of the English National Opera, and basically learnt my craft sitting in that theatre. And we created a beautiful show in the place where it all started for me, my inspiration there, and my beloved mum, who I didn't know whether was going to make it through to, to actually see me doing it, um, for her to be able to see her daughter on stage and know that her granddaughter, who was the same age as I was when I started going there, was sitting right there as well, and her colleagues from the English National Opera up on stage with me. It doesn't get better than that. It doesn't, it doesn't even sound like it's real that you would have all that going on in one night. And you've got some very special guests. I do, I do. I have uh, Leslie Odom Jr. from Hamilton. He was the, the request of my daughter, who's obsessed with him, and he's got the most magnificent smooth voice. We have a lot, an awful lot of the cast of Ted Lasso in various different guises, and they rose to the challenge and then some and loved every minute of it. We have Sam Ryder from the UK, who's the nearest thing I think we have in the world to Freddie Mercury. We have Luke Evans, who I've known for 20 years, and the fabulous lounge swingers, who are two of the great loves of my life that I wanted to present to the world, them and the London Gay Men's Chorus. So it is like a slap round the face with Chris for 45 minutes. And have yourself a merry little Christmas now. Music is, of course, in your blood, but what does Christmas mean to you? Always, you know, when I was doing shows, doing eight shows a week, uh, I would wait for that Christmas, lovely Christmas switch off. And now, of course, it means being with my little nine-year-old daughter, who is blissfully in the throes of Father Christmas still. Gee, she nailed that, didn't she? That's a high note. Hannah Waddingham, <laughs> Home for Christmas, is streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus. How good's a Christmas special? Oh, I love yeah. a Christmas special. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't, yeah. right? <laughs> Thank you, Dickie. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?